Hey, it's Hannah, and today is Thursday, the 11th of May. It's another studio vlog, folks. I hope you are well. Happy Thursday. It, we're, we're coming ever closer to the advent launch, and uh, I'm pretty nervous about it. We've gone pink on the eyeshadow today to reflect the pink um, cat burglar that I have on my t-shirt. And yeah, we've got a couple of options today, but it all depends. Is the yarn that I dyed two days ago dry? We'll see. The fact that the dehumidifier was full is not a great sign. I should have come out yesterday, but it rained so much. It's not quite dry. Oh, it's definitely not quite dry. That's okay. I'm still within the time frame that I had. Um, We've been having a terrible spring so far here. It's been awful and so frustrating because I can see my neighbor out the window. <laughs> Very confused as to what I'm doing. Um, yeah, no, I'm so confu yeah, confused by the weather this um, spring. We've had so few sunny days that I've been able to get yarn outside to dry. I dyed these two days ago and I didn't want to put the heated areas on because it's May. Uh, but it's just been so wet and miserable. But I should have come down yesterday because if had I done, the dehumidifier would have kept running and maybe they would be dry, but that's okay. I'll leave it another day and if they're not dry tomorrow, I'll whack them on the heated era and then uh, they can go on Monday. But so, fr so frustrating. Anyway, well, that's influenced that decision because either I was going to be twisting up the yarn club today, uh, which is kind of what I wanted to be doing, or I was going to be bead weaving. So I'm obviously going to be bead weaving because I'm going to have a shop update in June, but I don't really know what to bead weave. So I might put a post on Instagram and then uh, see what people suggest and I'll get making because yeah, this yarn isn't dry at all. So that's frustrating. Let's get that kettle on and uh, let's make a cup of tea. Oh, there's a cat outside. I'm so out of the loop of bead weaving for shop updates now because last year I didn't really do it because I was beading for yarn shows the whole time um, which I mean not an ideal way to run a business truth be told um, because then people get out the habit of requesting stitch markers people start to know me only for yarn rather than for stitch markers and um, other than the berries I just don't really know what people want anymore, you know? It's a tough one. I'm just popping away the beads that I did uh, from when I was bead weaving on whatever the other day was, Sunday. Maybe Sunday I did a bead and chat for Patreon. Oh, hey, little one, are you going to squeak at me? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm just talking right now, little one, so if you don't mind... I know, she's very vocal. Uh, yeah, so I did a bead and chat on Patreon for the, um, these, this is my one that I kept for myself, the little cherry blossom. So I need to make some more cherry blossom for the shop update, but I've only got made five. Um, I didn't want to make it repetitive for the biscuit breaker. So what I think I'm going to do, whilst I wait for people to get back to me, is rainbow socks, because I've not done rainbow socks in a hot minute and people like rainbow socks, so I thought I would do a few rainbow socks and then, um, yeah, it'll be fun and a little bit different because I don't really know what to make because I'm so out the loop of what people want stitch marker wise. It's not good. It's not a good position to be in, truth be told. It's not good. So if you've got any requests for, uh, I try and put, put the beads in rainbow to order to make it easy to pick up. Um, if you have any requests for stitch markers that you want to see in the shop. This isn't the usual orange I use, but I don't know where the usual orange I use has gone. 
I use a very vibrant orange and all I can find is this one. It's fine, it will do the job. Um, it is still orange. It's just more of a yellow orange as opposed to a red orange. Yeah, if there's any stitch markers you want to see in the shop, please let me know and I'll add them to the list because um, I'm kind of drawing a blank. blank. I want to make some new stuff. I want it to be exciting, but I don't know what people want anymore because I know that Slows and Unicorns, they're old news now, aren't they, really? I also need to get a new bead mat. This one is falling apart, but I've had the same one for almost 10 years, so that could be why. Oops. Anyway. Right, that's all my beads laid out. Let me find something to watch on YouTube and uh, let's get bead weaving. I just knocked the table, I'm sorry. I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. I usually, like, I bead weave one with the pattern up, blah, 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 just so I have the reference and then I usually then film myself making it whilst I have the reference. Uh, this orange, this shade of orange, it's too close to the yellow. I can't. I can't. I need to find my actual orange colour. I don't know where it is. I got my drawer out and I can't find it and I don't know where else it would be. So I might have a round two and have another look for it and see if it's in there because I can't use this shade of orange, which is annoying because it's the shade that I used for ages for my orange. Um, but then I got a better orange and now it's been tainted. Tainted. So yeah, I'm just going to sit and unpick this. Um, luckily, I'm not very far through, but I'm not feeling it at all. It's the wrong colour. <laughs> Better to do that now than after I finished. Um, but yeah, this, I don't tend to unpick bead weaving that much. This is why. It takes forever and a day, and it's not usually worth my time nor effort. But I may as well for this one, because I'm not very far through. But yeah, uh, that's, I'm disappointed. That's okay. I will just, I just need to dig through my drawer and see if I can find the orange, which might mean emptying the whole drawer and organising it, which is probably what's needed. Because technically all my bead weaving stuff should be upstairs. I've got so many colours up, up upstairs in the office that I haven't used in so long, um, just because I brought down all my opaque beads, which are the colours I tend to use the most. And uh, yeah, so maybe I need to do a few more sparkly, shiny things. So... Mission unsuccessful. I cannot find the orange. I probably used it all for pumpkins and then never bought any more. So I need to order some more of that, which is annoying. I hate when I just have to order one colour of bead. But I just went through all of the beads that are in that drawer, combined a bunch of bags, um, triple checking they were the same colour. Very satisfying to do. However, it I did not find the orange, which um, is actually frustrating. I feel like today is not my day. First of all, my yarn isn't dry and now I don't have the right orange. They're very much first world problems, but they are still frustrating problems. So yeah. I highly recommend, by the way, tweezers with a scoop because uh, it makes packing beads away very easy. The good news is I somehow have a shed load of grey beads. So many grey beads. More grey beads than I think I had. These are the same colour. Let me see if I've got a bag with that in. Is that the same colour? Uh, I think it's technically meant to be the same colour, but it's... Oh no, it's not. It's different. It's a different colour. Are they the same colour? They're the same colour. Those are not matte. Those are, these both are AB. That means it's got a slightly shiny coating on. And that's matte opaque light smoke. Are they the same colour? Yes, they are. Ugh, my goodness. Let me show you how close in colour all these greys are. Why do I have so many? So this is matte opaque ghost grey. Let me get it up close and so you can have a proper look and see if I can get it not shiny on the back. Right. And then this is what I thought was the same but isn't the same. This is matte opaque light smoke. Why do I have them both? I don't know. I mean, they're actually quite clearly not different colours. But in person they look way more similar. But these are the same. These are not the same. This is different. This is an anomaly. And this is shiny grey. This, this one isn't matte. So keep that separate. Because 
I've definitely put these two together in a bag before because they're the same colour, it's just one is matte and one is not. Oh my goodness, what a palaver, what a palaver. But I think what I'm going to do, because I have so much grey, is I know I have an elephant pattern, but the question is, can I find it? Elephant, yes I can. I think I'm going to bead an elephant. Oh, I need a colour for its cheek. But that will get that will use a lot of light grey. I might go ghost grey, what does she use? Oh, she uses ghost grey too. And then she does an opaque purple. I'm not going, I'm not doing purple. I'll do a dark grey or shiny grey. I'll work it out. So, it's now a little bit later on. I've done a chunk of bead weaving. And now it's raining, it's raining. But I need to get this reel filmed. So I thought I'd come up and film it. Um, it's so dark in the living room, it's actually ridiculous. So I've come upstairs because it's a bit brighter up here. Although the light is up, so it's not the most flattering on my slowly aging face, but it is what it is and we work with it, you know? One of those and then, um, yeah, I can knit this sock a bit more. I got loads done, it's mad. But yeah, I just thought, come up, film the reel. Uh, the rain on the lean-to woke up me, so who was on top of the cupboard in the lean-to? Um, and it's really loud on the roof, so she came in making a fuss, so she sat on my lap and we snuggled for a bit and then, yeah. Oh just wanted to get that yarn twisted today but just wasn't dry wasn't dry okay a little bit of content creation pet peeve a little bit so I like to put my short form content on all platforms where I can because why put it in one place when you can put it in three um the, the issue is is that uh Instagram the longest videos you can do on Instagram are 90 seconds long the longest videos you can do on TikTok are three minutes long. They've taken away the 10 minute slot, which I makes sense, I think. And then the, um, the annoying thing is, is that on YouTube, the longest short form content you can upload is one minute. Oh, it's so frustrating. I want them to up it to 90 minute, uh, 90 seconds because yeah, I don't want it to be a regular video. I want it to be a short 
but sometimes getting everything in 60 seconds it's a bit of a stretch I've somehow got to cut 11 seconds out of this video that I've just recorded so yeah I often get asked um, how, how I edit my videos on my phone and download them from TikTok and such uh, I don't generally download them from TikTok I edit them on an app called YouCut um, this is YouCut and I'm sure there's something different you can use on an uh, iOS but I have an Android phone and I edit it on there and then I save it as the highest quality that is recommended and then I just post it everywhere because it makes so much more sense doing that than going into each thing and editing it each time and um, I have a I have a cat you would you I left you downstairs on the sofa what's going on you just want cuddles right now don't you that's that's all you want Oh, she never does this. I'll save you the bub but but the other one is also watching me. But yeah, my short form content creation recommendation and posts in general. One, post everywhere on social media if you can because not everyone's going to see the posts. Some people are going to see all of them and, you know, that's just the way of the world but not everyone's going to see all of them or any of them so you may as well post them everywhere also work smarter not harder edit it once and upload it three times rather than editing it three times and uploading it three times little little hints and tips it's a beautifully sunny day now there's not a cloud in the sky so i think mario is due to go to bed at about seven ish tonight because he's got an early start in the morning he's a baker for those who do not know so i might go for a walk this evening i like to go on evening walks it's a fun time it's just something that I like to do and uh, yeah I tend to I can't do it in the winter because by the time it's like walking time it's dark and I obviously don't want to go walking when it's dark but if I go at about seven ish it was still light yesterday when we left the cinema at nine so um, yeah no that's very exciting so I might go for a walk this evening right it is quarter to eight we've just watched the final of Race Across the World where by five couples, duos, uh, race across Canada. Very tense at the end, very good, very exciting, but I'm gonna go out for a walk. I'm not gonna go for super long because I really can't be bothered to go for a walk, but I know I feel better when I go, so I'll just do a short walk. By that I mean half an hour minimum, and then if I feel good and I then I can keep going, but I don't want to be out super duper late, um, and I don't want to be out when it starts getting dark, God, so yeah, just a little, little stroll while the sky is blue and it's not raining. <laughs> on TikTok for half an hour because the story of my life it is now almost nine o'clock and it's still light outside. Oh, I'm so excited. Anyway, uh, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. I post a video here every single week. Uh, last week I posted a podcast where I talk about the knitting and crochet projects I've been working on. So if you want to check that out. Also, I posted a video on Wednesday don't know if you would have missed it, uh, talking about the advent calendars, which are going to be available um, tomorrow. 
I'm very nervous. I'm very nervous about it. But yeah, you may have missed that. I don't know if you did. Whatever. Uh, also, if you like my content and you want to see my face pop up more in your life, there's a couple of ways this can happen. One of them is you can become a member of the Biscuit biscuit brew crew over on patreon link is in the description box below another way is that you can follow me on social media uh, instagram i am most active and i'm trying to get better at tiktok because i've kind of been slacking short form video content lately um because i think i just burnt myself out on instagram last year being what it was and uh yeah please leave me a comment down below let me know how your week is going let me know if you've got any weekend plans are you sick of rain? Do you have no rain? Uh, let me know. Leave me a comment down below. There's a little kimchi over there. Hello. Pew, 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 pew. This way. Uh, nope. I can't do it. I can't get out. Anyway, um, that would be delightful. And please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out and helps to get my video out there into the YouTube algorithm a bit more. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon for the next one. Have a good weekend, everyone. Bye.